everyone, welcome to episode six of Friday's Facts with the Agent for the, the people. people Team. My name is Jeremiah Dorn. I'm Jennifer Dorn. And I'm Malcolm Thomas. Today we're going to be coming to you, giving you some insight on buying in a tight market. You know, we're, we're in what's known as a seller's market and it's very likely that you could potentially encounter multiple offers. So anything that will help your offer, your contract stand um, above the competition is what we want to arm you with in this type of market that we have. So, so we're going to give you some tips and uh, you guys feel free to engage with us. Uh, send comments below, uh, share and like this post if, if, it, if it adds benefit to you. Um, and uh, we would like to hear your feedback. So um, as we continue, buying a house in a tight market. All right. So one of the most important steps is to get pre-qualified. If you're pre-qualified, that means that you'll be able to put a strong offer and the agent will be able to take you seriously when you're interested in the home. Yeah, and also stay in close contact with your realtor. Your realtor is going to go out and she's going to, or he, will put together a search based on the criteria that suits you and your family's needs. So once that home is found, be ready to make a move because, again, if you're in a tight market, you may not have a lot of time to decide whether or not you or plan to get into that house. Be ready to go when it hits the market. And, and part of uh, being ready to move is knowing what house you're going to put an offer on. So make sure that you are looking at Zillow.com, Realtor.com, HomesForSale.com so you can have an idea of what's available so that you can uh, send that information to your Realtor so that they can help you put together an offer. Also guys, be ready to make a decision. Don't wait last minute. You know, know what you would like in a home. You know, your, your likes, your, your dues, your wants and dislikes, you know, certain neighborhoods, certain areas. Always do the research beforehand. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And then also, when you are submitting that offer, bid competitively. Honestly, I mean, you don't want to miss out on a home because you decide to put an offer in that's less than what you're actually qualified for. I'll give you an example. We just put a house on the market. It wasn't even on the market three days. We had seven offers. So if it is the house of your choice, be ready to bid competitively. Put your highest and best in. Put your cards on the table if you really want it. Otherwise, you run the risk of losing that property. Absolutely. Uh, one other thing that we can't fail to mention is keeping your contingencies to a minimum. Contingencies are things that need to be satisfied before you can close in your house. For example, if you have to sell your home before you buy a home, understand that to a person who's selling their house and entertaining your offer, that could be something that is unattractive to them. They may not want to wait the time that it would take for you to sell your house before you can buy. You know, these are some things to keep in mind. You know, talk to your, your lender about a bridge loan, a loan that potentially could cover both your mortgage of your current home and the mortgage of a new home that you would purchase in the event that you do get a contract ratified on something that you're interested in. Mm. All right. And what I also want to stress here today is don't get caught up in the buying frenzy. You know, there's going to be, just because there's a lot of offers on a home, necessarily that might not be the perfect home for you. So again, it's kind of what I said before, you know, do your research, make sure you're inspecting the home and that it actually is going to meet your needs for the future. That's right. Yeah. Don't neglect doing that home inspection in spite of everything else. Know what you're purchasing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again to our Friday Facts episode number six. As always, we appreciate our Facebook fans and our Instagram Instagram fans and all of you guys that are watching us live, please be sure to like, comment, share. Please give us some feedback. We love the feedback. It only helps us to bring you better content and make it better for us. Until the next time, again, we are your agent number four, the people team, and we look forward to serving you. Take care, guys.